Hi everyone, welcome back to Drawing at Home with Mrs. Bodden. Today we're going to draw from Drawing Shape by Shape again. Today we're going to draw a peaceful pachyderm, or in other words, an elephant. So, find your materials. Get a pencil, get a pen, get some crayons, get something to draw with, grab a piece of paper, and let's go ahead and get started. So our peaceful pachyderm, it is made up of squares for our base. So we're going to start with a big square with a smaller square inside. So there's my big square. I'm going to draw a smaller square inside it. Now this smaller square is become, going to become our elephant's head. So we're going to start with his face. So our elephant is going to be kind of sleepy, so we're going to draw his eyes closed. So draw me kind of a W shape, give him some eyebrows, then we're going to draw that nose. Now your nose doesn't have to be perfect. I know a lot of my students want to try and have things perfect. Your nose doesn't need to be. So you're going to draw it coming down, and we want it to be a nice long nose. I'm going to draw this side as part of his mouth, and it comes down and around like that. Now, do I need this line anymore? Yes, we can go ahead and erase it. So now our elephant has this nice long nose. Now we need to draw the feet next. Oh, we can get rid of this one too. There we go. So we're going to draw the feet next. So I'm going to draw, starting over here at my edge, kind of this shape. Give him a little bit of a leg. And then come in here to the middle. Draw two lines, kind of do that same kind of U shape, bubbly U shape. And then this line over here is going to be hidden behind part of the trunk. So I'm not going to be able to see all of it. But we'll be able to come out down around a little bit, just like that. Now, do I need these lines anymore? Nope, so that means we can erase them. So erase, erase, and erase. Now, to finish off our feet, we're going to draw some toes. So give me three upside down U's on each of the feet. And there you have some toes. If you don't have enough room for all three on this one up here, that's fine. You at least can get two or so, two and a half on there. Now, we need a little bit more detail on our trunk. So I'm going to go ahead and draw some trunk lines. So these are kind of make it look like the trunk can be wrinkly and can be bent. And then down here at the bottom, we're going to draw a little oval so that we know that that elephant can actually suck some stuff up with his nose. So what's left? We need some ears. So our ears are going to come out of these top two corners up here. They're going to come out and kind of look like bat wings. And then this one's going to come out and look like a bat wing as well. Now, do I need that line anymore? No, so we're just going to erase it. Do I need this line right here anymore? Nope. So we're just going to erase it. There we go. Now he still needs, give him some hair because he's cute. He still needs a tail. So go ahead and draw me kind of a skinny triangle or a skinny sliver at the end. And then we'll kind of draw a leaf shape at the back of that that attaches to it. And that'll be his tail. You can give it some little feathery stuff so that it looks like he's kind of fuzzy. Now. What do you do next? Color him. Give him a background. What's this guy dreaming of? You could draw a little dream bubble. Draw something that he's dreaming of up here. Like a peanut. So our elephant's dreaming of peanut. Maybe two peanuts. Maybe make a couple of peanuts. So he's dreaming of some peanuts up here. Maybe he's not dreaming about food at all. Maybe he's dreaming about flying into outer space or taking a road trip. Whatever you choose, be creative. Add some color, have some fun, give him a little bit more of a background, and I would love to see your artwork. So go ahead and feel free to message me on Dojo or email it to me. My email is in our normal link. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.